We are part of the Maine Civil War Trail, and what our exhibit is about uh, is bullets and bandages, the passions and price of the Civil War. So we're talking about what the men met on the battlefield, what the medical establishment was like, and then those that survived both the battlefield and the medical establishment, what their long-term effects were that they had to deal with. This is our Hall of Soldiers. Uh, this is representative of a collection of carte de visites. Uh, they would have your picture on them and the picture would be mounted to a paper backing. And you would use them, like calling cards or even trading cards. This is a great resource, particularly if you know of a uh, main soldier uh, in your history and you don't have a photograph of him. It's kind of nice to come see him on the wall. This area is our uh, parlor. This is typically what a wealthy family in Bangor would have uh, had. And we wanted to showcase the type of clothing, the type of event. Because there were so many amputations that were happening, um, a lot of men came home and they had an empty sleeve where their arm would be. Uh, the sleeve would be pinned up to cover the stump. And that was a very popular type of image um, also to promote the survivors of the, of the war. Um, in this part of the gallery, we have uh, all the medical equipment. And this is uh, some of the most horrific and interesting bits of what we have on display. We have an entire doctor's medical kit uh, from the Civil War. Detective Richard Harberger uh, from the Penobscot County Sheriff's uh, Department was kind enough to lend us the full amputation kit with the bone saw and the chain and the, the little hooks and all of that. So it's, it's quite impressive to look at up close. This is our munitions room. This is where we are showcasing the uh, weapons of the Civil War. And one sort of note uh, is one of the crown jewels in our collection, which is Joshua Chamberlain's sword. And this is the sword uh, that he was wearing at Gettysburg when he was facing the 15th and the 5th Alabama Regiment. One of those stories that we have here that's particularly related to Bangor is Wesley Martin. This is his peg leg. Wesley's story uh, goes that he was um, 16, 17 years of age and he was wounded at the Battle of Spotsylvania. He was taken prisoner of war and during his time in the prison camp he had to have his foot amputated. It's a great human story, not only a story of survival but it epitomizes Really what we're trying to tell in this exhibit is that um, the, the men from Maine met on insurmountable challenges and coming up again to Memorial Day, it's very important that we uh, bring these stories and more to light and we're very pleased to be able to do that with this exhibit.